It'll be interesting to see. I mean, uh, Tempo Storm has a 61% win rate on their terrorist side on this map, which is pretty bonkers. Uh, they normally struggle in T side. That's I mean that's that's close to 20% above their average. Their average terrorist win rate is, is 46% uh, across all the maps. But here on Cash, 61%. So they show a good offense here, and that is good to see. Absolutely. So we are going to get right into this knife round. LG taking the lead early on, and that's really just going to leave Shazam in a one versus four. Very difficult situation. He goes down. So LG most definitely going to be starting on the CT side here. And we are going to get this one underway. DE Cash Pro League ESCA ESL Luminosity versus Tempo Storm. Quick roster rundown for you guys tuning in from home that haven't really uh, paid too terribly much attention to these teams. We've got the Luminosity side. That's Lex, Anger, Pitt, Nafly, and Peter facing off against Darky, Shazam, Rix, Stanislaw, Law, and Glorins. So no Hades so tonight. Yeah, no Hades there for Tempo Storm. And just for some people who might be wondering who Darky was, he actually he did play in uh, an invite. In season 17, uh, so two seasons ago, with with Area 51, so he was a member of that squad. And a pause to start things off. Yes, nice, good. Getting off on a high note. I like it. And there it goes, canceled once again. As soon as I complain about it, so two seconds later, it's off. So that's how we get rid of pauses. Just bitch about them, and they'll go away. I like it. <laughs> Or apparently you plug music, gets them back to their computers as well. It's one of the two. Alrighty, so we are live into the pistol round here, boys and girls. Luminosity versus Tempo Storm D Cash. And it looks like we're going to see a little bit of a quick push going towards the A bomb site. And look at this again, classic Luminosity. They're going to push three members out. Stan is all spotting it from deep back. They know this strategy. Luminosity does this in almost every single one of their cash matches on their CT pistol, is push three members out from the B halls. And again, they're going to go ahead and drop back because that push was spotted. Now, very methodical play already from Tempo Storm, looking rather disciplined on their pistol round, holding back, waiting for those pushes. They were able to chip away a little bit of health off of Peter, but nevertheless, they are going to be biding their time. Stan did take a couple of shots as well. They're going to merge over here towards this A bomb site, and that should be where the hit's coming, Moses. Yeah, they only have one smoke to use. That's on Stan as well, so it's going to be interesting to see where he throws that. Possibly over towards... Oh, he looks like he's gonna, he threw it towards Connector, so this is going to be for this... Boost some players up mid, see if they can get some action and a pinch onto the A bomb site. Lex is ready for it. He's in the NBK spot. He has a smoke of his own. He hasn't thrown it yet. He's got to be careful. Don't, doesn't want to get caught out with that. And Peter goes down trying to get aggressive through a smoke and Z connector. And now that push is coming onto the A bomb site. Nafly trying to chip away from Carr. He's going to go down. Followed by uh, his teammate Lex, who was able to trade one and done. Now the P2000 of Pitt's going to be able to find the face of Ricks. That bomb finally going to get planted. Anger pushing up into the site. So he's in a prime position for this retake, as well as Pitt. And they're going to molly him out and push around the corner. Anger finds another one, and that's going to leave Glorens. He does have a CZ75, so if he can get the shots off in time, he could, he could clutch this one out. It's a tall order. He's going to come around the box, and Pitt's going to decapitate him. A double on the round for him and Luminosity. Take the pistol round, starting off strong here with a two-man stand. Yeah, really nicely done by by Pitt and Anger, mauling him off and forcing him out. Anger actually, that, I mean that was great. He got up, he got up uh, highway and he got over towards forklift. A really, really nice positioning for that retake once the bomb went down. So very good job by those two, uh, in that in that clutch uh, situation. You know, managing things very well, finding a good angle. Pitt mauling him out, forcing him into the crosshairs of Anger. So a good pistol round from Luminosity here, and it's going to not be a huge investment by Tempo Storm. They do upgrade some pistols, but because they got that plant, they might be looking to do a third round buy. And I just realized that Pitt's M4A4 Hal's name is Bill Cosby. Quality name. Good lord. <laughs> I love it. You were killed by Pitt's Bill Cosby. So again, we're going to see that aggression coming towards the A-bomb site. Bomb is on the back of Stan as Law, moving their way up very slowly towards a main. And Lex is going to be playing over there by quad box. They go ahead and drop the smoke out. Pop flash around the corner. Here comes the push from the terrorist side. Are they going to be able to get it done? Flash goes out. Lex is going to be able to clean up three of them. Lightning fast. He's looking for more. Finds the fourth. Ace stolen. Pit and the Bill Cosby takes down Ricks. Yeah, Lex is, uh, Lex is a player who's going to anchor down this, this A-bomb site later on in the rounds. When they rotate away, he's going to be the last one to leave it. And like you said, he's, he's very much improved uh, from last season to this season, playing very, very well. But the backup of Pitt over there, they, those two have been playing very, very well. But this is that T side we talked about. Tempo Storm has a very good feel for it. The only issue is with the investment of those, you know, in upgrading some pistols that round, and it didn't really, it didn't do anything at all for him. But they only have one smoke again on Stanislaw, so very light utility on whatever hit they want to do. 
So again, we're going to see an AK by Galil being boasted by Stan as law. Very limited nades here for the terrorist side as well. They do have four AKs to their name, but it's going to be a very difficult uh, push in towards the A bomb site. Counter flashes come around the corner. They are going to try to make a bid for that. And again, this is going to be on Lex. Pit goes down. Lex behind the smoke. Spots one up top. He bides his time and does it well. He's going to find another one. Peter does chime in on a darkie. He gets that SMG damage. And finally, Shazam's able to dispatch of Lex in the back of that quad box. He's going to leave it on Anger and Naf to try to retake this bomb site as the bomb gets planted in the hands of Glorins. It's going to be a three on two. Anger pushing his way up towards the uh, main side of the site. Shazam over by quad box, peeks out his shoulder. They're not going to go overly aggressive here. And Tempo Storm playing this one well. Flashbang goes out. They've got Glorins in the site. Shazam at the box. And then they've also got one back there in A main. That's going to be Rick's cleaning up one. It's all on Anger. One versus three. Gets the one. Doesn't get the two. And that's going to be Tempo Storm's first round on the board. And it comes in the third. Yeah, really nice post plant positioning by Tempo Storm. That was a tough round for, for Luminosity to win. Really no great avenues into that bomb site. Every, all, all angles covered by Tempo Storm. Nicely done by them. And even with only one smoke, I mean, they just put so much pressure, so aggressive onto that A site. Might have caught Luminosity a little bit off guard. Pitt had just uh, not gotten into the bomb site where he's normally doubled up with Lex, but either way, they're going to buy here. They're going to invest fully into it. Peter's got an AWP. Pitt is only on a uh, 5-7 and no kits, but a pretty decent buy out of the, out of the defense. And look at Shazam. He peeks up in the middle very, very quickly. He's got anger in a corner, but he might be stuck out. They haven't been able to take him down yet. Pitt and, Pitt and Peter both over at the sandbags. Nade finally comes in and pushes Shazam back in mid. And again, Anger's finally going to be able to resign back towards the vents. He's got to be careful there. There's a couple right around the corner. They're going to drop some flashes and some smokes. And Nafli could get caught out here. He is stuck in checkers, and he does go down. Stan is low with the opening frag. He's going to go ahead and push on out. Peter does have the AWP, but he's going to miss the shot. They smoke off B main, and they're going to go ahead and flash things out. Anger in the checker is going to be able to find one. Stan is law down. Glorin's right back into him, so the trade's going the way of the terrorist side for Tempo Storm, and that's going to force the save from Luminosity. What a round from Tempo Storm, just bum-rushing and taking that by brute force in the B bomb site. Yeah, Anger was, Anger was in vents. Oh, nice shots by Rex. He takes out two of them, so only Peter's really going to be able to save. He's going to be over in the door with an AWP, but a little bit curious by Naf. Wanted to double up into checkers, but he did it late, and as soon as he goes in, he just gets aggressed upon immediately by Tempo Storm through the smoke. Peter does find one, but he's very close to being completely hunted down. Rick's coming from behind him with only 5 HP. He does get pistol, but Shazam's now coming from the other end. So Peter's got one more to deal with. He's got to just hide, and that wall's not spammable. But he's just dodging bullets, so he does bring that AWP into the next round. But two straight for Tempo Storm, looking very aggressive on these hits. So again, Tempo Storm equalizing things here at a 2-2 scoreline. Peter's going to be the only one boasting a rifle from the CT side. It is going to be pretty much a unanimous save for them. They are going to pick up a couple of pistols, a 5.7 and a couple of P250s. But it is going to be a full AK lineup here for the terrorist side. No AWP, AWP being picked up just yet for them. Shazam still going to be resigned onto that AK-47. We're going to see the smoke play in towards the A bomb site. It's a quick push, and look at this. Nobody is home. Peter, though, going to find one from the Z connector. That might just be all they find this round, as three members of the CT forces are going to be pushing through the B halls. And this is a good spot for Ricks to be in. He's going to be able to pick off a bunch. No! Pit coming around from behind. Gets him from T-spawn. Good, uh... Good push there from the CT side. They've got one coming towards Squeaky Door. That's Lex down and out. Now Stan as law finds that kill. Peter now pushing up from highway. Going to be spotting out that Squeaky Door, trying not to lose that AWP again. Shazam finds one. Pit comes in, and now all of a sudden it's down to a 1v3, and Stan as law goes down. So all of a sudden, Luminosity clean it up and get the round. Yeah, what? that was a complete collapse from Tempo Storm, and that was amazing. They got into that bomb site for, for basically free. Peter picks one off, but... It's still, what I mean, it was just too much. They were just far too spread out. Rick, Rick's trying to watch the flank, but he actually gets flanked himself by, by Pitt, not watching that wide angle. And once he falls, I mean, after that, the next player was caught out in lockers. So just too many players not able to back each other up, not able to support anything. And Luminosity with a fantastic retake on that eco. It, it, that's unbelievable. So a big goo from Tempo Storm stops that win streak, and, and their economy's in shambles now. They do have an AWP on Shazam. They bought, and it's all pistols otherwise. And it looks like they want a favor or maybe a boost up over the top of mid, but that is mollied off, so they're going to have to bide their time a little while longer before they can put that AWP up in that area. Stan is law going to get boosted. Darky going to get boosted, and it's going to be a bum rush and try to manhandle this mid area. They've got one in Vince. That's going to be Anger. He's going to have to come up huge. Flashes on out around the corner. That's going to blind one. That's Ricks. He's going to go down. Darky, though, did take down Pitt with a deagle. And Anger finally falling back into checkers. He's got one right behind him, but he gets around the corner just in time, and it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade. No extra casualties on the board just yet for either side. 
Yeah, but Angus rotating through. away. <laughs> yeah, he's rotating away, and this leaves Nap all alone. This is where the hit's coming. Nap drops over towards the grill. He gets one. A shot from him. Glorens is going to fall here, too, but there's Anger swinging back in, spraying a couple down. Just Shazam with that AWP. He's only taken one shot, so the only gun not really having too much of an impact in this round. Yeah, and he's going to be trying to step out here. Shazam hears Anger around the corner. And, oh my goodness, he misses the shot. An inadvertent shoulder peek from Anger wins that round. And he's going to pick up the quad for it as well. So great round from Anger. Yeah, and that, that was actually a huge round from Anger. It was a little bit frightening when he rotated away, but uh, we've seen so many of these hits from Tempo Storm, and they've had their weapons be very, very aggressive and very hard and fast attacks on the bomb site. That time it just seemed a little bit slowed down, a little bit tentative with just the pistols. They didn't want to get in, but they had a window of opportunity. Just Anger rotating back once Naf, Naf Life spotted it out. Very, very effective. And now a double op set up for the CT side. Naf and Peter both with the AWP. And again, the hit is going to be coming towards the A-bomb site. They've sent one out through mid, and that's going to be your number nine man, Stan as Law, trying to make a little bit of a distraction, but Pitt is going to be able to take him down instantaneously. So no real damage being done from the terrorist side as of yet. Three members over here in the A-main. They're going to go ahead and smoke off towards the truck side and make that push around towards the A-bomb site. But Lex is there, finds one and two. Pitt with another one as well, and that's going to leave it all on Rick's bum rushing his way out mid, trying to make something happen with that Tech-9. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to happen. Anger right around the corner sweeps out and cleans him up. And with 6 HP combined, Lex and Pitt, strong hold at that A bomb site. Yeah, pretty strong hold. Yeah, you're exactly right. And uh, it gets a little, actually, I've, I've spotted Lex and, Lex and Pitt have both gotten caught out with a nade in their hands at, at certain, certain rounds. Just not a great feel on the timing of when these hits for Tempo Storm comes in. That time Pitt got caught out. Lucky he didn't fall. He, he got brought down very, very low. But another gun round for Tempo Storm, all AK-47s across the board. And look at Looks this like right now. Anger, Pit, and Lex all on eight frags. Yeah, very well done by Luminosity, a team Ooh. effort. Nice shot by Darky. Takes out Anger, so a five on four, but I mean, he gets that pick over towards B, and, and look at what this has done to the defense. There's one player in mid, one player in vents, and one player in the B bomb site. It's only Lex in A. He's the only one, and this is exactly where that hit looks like it's going to come into play. Finally, now Peter's rotating over towards Truck with that AWP, but he could get smoked off very, very easily. And it's actually going to force him to push up into a more aggressive spot. Nate around the corner from Lex is going to find some decent damage onto Shazam. Now they're going to try to make this play, and Lex, playing from the NBK spot, is going to find one. Glorens through the smoke, though, decapitates him. And that's going to leave it all on the rotation now. Peter's going to find one, but he goes down instantaneously. Shazam with the instant trade there, and that's going to be really bodes well for the Tempo Storm side. And we'll see whether or not they can hang on to this in a three versus two again. We saw it crumble the last time on that anti-eco, but again, they're going to be in the same kind of positions. Shazam in the A main, two over by quad. They use the molly and the nade over by that forklift. Shazam's going to be able to spot out one pit swinging. Trying to find something over in that direction. Darky from the main side of the site. Nafly pushing on up, and that's going to leave Ricks to try to come around. No scope from Nafly. Finds one. Back down to a two versus two. Ricks does find another one. Another no scope from Nafly. And that's going to be two now for him. He's going to tap the bomb, and Shazam goes for the peak, and Nafly gets oh. it. Does he have time? Yes, he does. And again, Tempo Storm just completely losing it in the end there. And we do see um, Shazam actually drop from the server there, so... Should be a pause here. We're waiting for the last player to join back up from Tempo Storm. But what a retake from Luminosity again. And Tempo Storm just overextending their welcome in some of those spots. And good shots from Nafly as well. Yeah, I mean, not even not even the retake by Luminosity. It was the retake by Naf. All those nice shots. Unbelievable work from him. Even, even catching Shazam on the shoulder peak. Just trying to bait the shot out, but not quick enough. Naf beats him to it. And what a, what a round from Naf. So 6-2 to two for Luminosity. And I mean, you're right. They, they actually, it's weird because Tempo Storm had that one great round with three players alive where they had great setups on their post-plant. And ever since that, ever since that eco round, they've just gotten beat up in those post-plant situations. And that time just demolished by Naf. And again, we kind of talked about the frag counts for these players on the Luminosity side. And Lex at 9, 8 for Pit, and 8 for Anger, 6 for Naf, and 5 for Peter. That's really because Peter hasn't had much action to go on in mid. They haven't really exploited that area too much on the Tempo Storm side, so he hasn't really had much to shoot at. Yeah, that, even when he has the AWP, it's, and it's weird because they, they seem to be favoring these faster-paced strats where they just get over, they execute, and they explode into the bomb sites, usually towards A. So, I mean, they're not giving Shazam really a lot of time to even try and work some picks. Uh, and that can sometimes be very tough and, and very confidence shattering for an opper if, you know, he's constantly buying that gun and he wants to do something with it, but he's not having the time. So they do, they do need to get him into a position where he can be a little bit more effective, have a little bit more impact. 
But we'll see whether or not they can make that happen this round. But look at the money on the CT side right now. Now, granted, Peter does have yet to buy, and it's probably going to be an AWP in his hands. But, again, he's got $11,000, $7,000 for Anger, $7,800 for NAF. And with already having guns in the hands of Pitt and Lex, I mean, their economy is pretty bolstered right now. So we'll see if they can continue to maintain and continue to string these rounds together. And there you go. NAF actually throws the op over to Peter and buys an M4. So, again, not that heavy of an investment from that player. And that's going to leave a lot of money in Peter's hands for the next round. Yeah, important to say these two teams uh, went head to head in Sevo just uh, just like four days ago, and it was, it was heavily favored towards Luminosity. They, they pretty much crushed Chapel Storm on Dust Two. They won sixteen to eight, Mirage sixteen to five. So they've been coming out on top in this matchup recently, very very well. All right, so again, we're going to see Tempo Storm pushing out quickly towards mid. They're trying to get that mid control and go for that B split. You can see Shazam getting aggressive with Darky right at his back, and Shazam goes down immediately. Darky does find one, though, so that's going to leave Nap all by his lonesome. He finds a second one, not able to get the third. And that's going to be Stan as Law sweeping him under the rug, and we're going to have a double man push coming through the vents right now, and that's going to be Pit, and it's going to be Lex. Actually, Lex is going to go around for the long flank through mid main. So he's going to come under contention with Stan as Law here in just a second. It's going to catch him out. Finds one, finds two. Good spray down from Lex. And that recoil control is going to find that nice headshot on Nick Lawrence as well. So that's going to leave it all on Ricks now, who's actually pushed in towards CT spawn. And let's see whether or not he can lock this down. He's got one up in heaven. He's got Pitt and Checkers, and he's got Lex on the big flank. He's going to come around the corner, and Peter's going to find the kill. So now a fifth round in a row for Luminosity. Yeah, and I don't know what's happened to Tempo Storm. I mean, maybe they were just shaken and some uh, miscoms since they lost those those couple of retakes that they really shouldn't have lost. But I mean, they're all in B. They're all in the site. None of them want to, none of them want to get aggressive on under the bomb site to get in and get the bomb planted. I mean, Peter was mollied out up top. He couldn't do anything, and they pretty much just sat and waited for the flank from Lex to come in. So kind of gifting a couple over there. They just seem very very timid after those first two really aggressive gun rounds. And again, we can see Tempo Storm getting aggressive out through mid, so LG not even giving a crap about that area this round. As you can see, they've got... Oh, what a shot from Darky, though. Finds one. Nafly in the back of that site's going to come under fire. And now that bomb quickly sweeping over towards that B-bomb site, so they are going to take down Nafly in just a second. There it is. Glorens finds him with the M4, and that's going to leave it all on just Pitt and Peter as Stan is all finds Lex on the big flank from A-Main. So now it's going to be a 2v5 retake. What does LG have for us this round? Pitt coming around from the vents. Going to drop down into checkers and try to find something. Peter is able to find the first one. That's Stan is law on the big flank. Now they've got three players in the back of this B bomb site, and Shazam's going to be sitting outside. And missing the first shot, but Pitt's going to be able to bait out one. Takes down a second one. Ricks does go into Peter with the AWP, but that's going to leave it all on Pitt, who's got two, got three. And now it's down to Ricks, who's going to swing out. The timer is going to go on the bomb, but... Throwing away a lot of weapons there at the end was Tempo Storm, so that economy, even though they got the plant and they got the round win, is not going to be too strong in the next round. Well, it's actually not that big. That was an eco round, so that was pretty much a free win, and those would have been free guns if they were able to save them. But like that's here's the thing: the success that Tempo Storm has had, you know, outside of outside of those first two rounds, they won they won early on by going towards A. Darkie's been really really effective, whether it's with that Deagle we just saw or with an AK-47 getting a pick over towards B. So if I'm Tempo Storm, I'm, I'm telling Darkie, I'm just like, listen, we're gonna let you work. We're gonna give you 30 seconds every round to do whatever you want towards B try and find us a pick because he's been very successful at it even some rounds they haven't won he's got them picks and now we're going to see an a play again lex pre-firing the squeaky door finds some good damage onto stan as law here comes the push from the terrorist side tempo storm trying to infiltrate b and again lex playing over here by the mbk spot they haven't spotted him out he's spraying through the smoke finds one he's stuck at quad fully flashed he's going to go down Stan is law able to refrag onto that, so it's a one-for-one one trade. And now look at this. All the CTs grouped up. The bomb yet to get planted. Nades go out towards the truck side. Not going to find any damage onto the CTs in that area. The bomb finally gets planted, but Anger's already pushed up. Rick's down and out. He's got one more to beat a quad. That's going to be Stan is law. Stan is law loses that fight. Pitt finds another one, and Shazam goes down. So again, just basically off the back of two players, that retake comes in from Luminosity and resets the money for Tempo Storm. They should be able to buy this next round, but it's going to be limited. Yeah, and that's just that's just giving anger too much space to work with on a retake. You know, no one no one spotting the entrance into the bomb site. He just comes in and gets gets two kills basically for free. So, I mean, Tempo Storm is still struggling with post plant situations. If they don't get a clean entrance onto the bomb site, they have a very very tough time in, in you know even man situations. And it is going to be a force buy, which is kind of surprising. So Darky has a Galil, 
So does Glorans, but they have some AKs. Shazam just stuck on Tech 9 and smokes and flashes. So again, Darky working his way over towards the B-bomb site, but he's got one to beat. That's going to be Anger over in that area that's peeking it out. Nafly is going to be there to support with a flashbang primed and ready to rock and roll. There it is around the corner. Not going to blind anybody, though. So he's going to push his way up towards the uh, far corner under Vent. Not a lot of action happening towards the A-bomb site, but that bomb is slowly converging, slowly convening and working its way towards the A-bomb site. So we'll see whether or not they can infiltrate that area this time as Tempo Storm moves their way towards the A-bomb site. Pit playing on top of the balcony there. See whether or not he can make anything happen from that position. Switching things up on the LG side. Smoke going to come up over the top. And now they're going to know that it's an A hit. Lex should be calling for some backup. There's the rotation coming all the way from Peter. He's working his way back around. Pitt's going to be able to find one and two. And Lex chimes in with another one. But they still hadn't cleared out Pitt. He does some good damage onto Ricks. And finally, they are able to get rid of that nuisance up there on the platform. Molotov comes around the corner. They shouldn't be able to plant here for a little while longer. Now the Molly missed. They can actually plant off that one. But Ricks is still a little bit scared of walking into the flames. He does spot Naf's head, but he can't, he can't find it. Now Stanislaw's gonna get sprayed down by Anger trying to enter in the bomb set. It's just down to Ricks with 14 HP. And he's not able to land a kill quite yet. Anger just finishes him off. And again, another stronghold at the A bomb site from Luminosity. They didn't even have to go for the retake this time. No bomb plant for the uh, terrorist site either, so that's gonna leave them in a very rough economy. Yeah, Tempo Storm really favoring these these A hits. And if I'm if I'm Luminosity, I mean this is gonna be a save round, but the next gun round for Tempo Storm, if I'm Luminosity, they haven't touched middle yet, so I just leave Peter there with the AWP and I get I get Lex and I get Pit into that A bomb site or set up in a crossfire as soon as possible because those those A hits that they've been executing come very, very quickly. It comes through the defensive smoke. They just flash their way through it. And the only times it's really had success in getting them a plan and getting them into the bomb site is when Lex is playing all alone behind a smoke. All right, well, it is going to be a hit towards the A-bomb site this time, and this is all going to be on Lex. He does have Pitt there to support. One, two, three. Can he get more? Four. There it is, and Pitt cleans up another one. So another 4K for Lex at the A-bomb site. Stolen away the ace from Pitt. Yeah, and you can just see how much emphasis uh, Tempo Storm is putting over there. Look at the kills for, for Pitt and Lex, the two A players. 17-5 and five on Pitt, 17-8 and eight on Lex. They're top fragging for their team by five. I mean, Anger and, and Naf have gotten some good kills on retakes, but I mean, Naf and Pete are just sitting low on the frag count because they're just not seeing much action. Yeah, I mean, no no real mid-presence being exerted here from the terrorist side, and it's going to be a gun round towards the B-bomb site this time, and there it is, the aggression. Peter's going to find one. Finally, he gets a little action. He's going, all right, boys, I finally got one. Nice pop flash from Naf is going to yield him one, but Stan finds one. Glorens finds Peter, and that B bomb site is now open for business. Rick's holding outside of the B site, waiting for that flank to come in. He knows that Lex likes to come around from B main. He's going to bide his time. Anger's already down there into the checkers. Anger's going to find one. Rick's. Well, actually, Glorens with the support. Anger finds a second, and that's going to leave Glorens with three HP and a dream in the back of that bomb site. And he's going to get caught out. Anger with the 3K. The retake happens again on the back of Anger's big AK play. Oh, it's also the, the zero presence in mid for Tempo Storm. They're, they're, I mean, Anger and, and Pit were both pushed up in mid. They were aggressive. They had an aggressive mid strategy waiting for anything from Tempo Storm to come out. And as soon as they got the numbers over at the B site, they both flagged through the vents very, very quickly. So no, no real chance for Tempo Storm to set up or even get any picks on the rotate. So nicely done from Luminosity. And Tempo Storm, I mean, they looked, they, they had some, they had two really good gun rounds early on in the third and fourth rounds, but since then it's been all luminosity, just blowing them up, beating them up across the map, three to eleven. And this is a map that Tempo Storm has has a 60, 60 some percent win rate on their terrorist side. I mean, this is usually a good side for them, and and now they're just getting, uh, they're just getting slapped out uh, down a bit. Anger's gonna take a little spam in mid from Shazam. Both down to about the same HP level, eighty and eighty-two. Boost up top, goes over. Rix is going to be there, but he's going to get taken down instantly by Pitt. No refrag being made at all. And Anger with the pop flash out. Vent's going to go ahead and shoulder peek out. Takes down Shazam. <laughs> That's a very weak, weak attempt at a mid, mid control or mid take from Tempo Storm. And now Peter's going to slide over. But these last three, these remaining three players really don't have anywhere to go. Lex is pushed up in a main. He's going to peek this. He's going to find three of them. He does get one, but he's got the intel. Now they're just rushing their way over towards the A site. Peter's going to Molotov off the choke point. That's brutal for Tempo Storm. He grabs one pick. Glorens falls. It's all on Darky. And not really much left for him to do. Except die. Yeah, right? He's going to go ahead and peek out. Peter misses the shot, though. Gives Darky a little bit of an opening, but Nafly is going to be there to sweep him under the rug. And that's going to be your 12-3 to halftime score in favor of Luminosity. So great job from them. I have to get back into game here in just a second because it crashed or renewed. Yes, sir. Yes, it did.
But well, I mean, what a dominant half for, from Luminosity, and really, it just comes down to, you know, a lack of variety on the T side for for Tempo Storm. Once that A hit stopped working, they really didn't have much to fall back on. I mean, no no mid presence like we said. Uh, no real success over at the B site, aside from Darky being able to get a couple picks. That, that helped him win an eco round, but just kind of a just a little bit of a stale T side. And, and once once uh, Luminosity got the read of it, it was pretty much all over. Right. So again, we're going to be seeing this a 12-3 halftime score. We should be getting right into this uh, right into this gun round or the. It's actually round live over. now. So two players, Shazam and Darky, push up an A main. They pick off two. Ricks actually grabs one. But here comes Anger, and hit, driving back, getting two kills of their own. Now it's looking a little bit scary, but such an A aggressive push from from Lumina or I mean from uh, Tempo Storm has shut everything down. Basically a mop up for Shazam. Two kills for him on that pistol round. Nicely done from Tempo Storm. Yeah, and again picking up that pistol round. How crucial was that? I mean, that was that's huge. And if they can capitalize on a couple more rounds moving forward, they should be able to get themselves into a little bit more of a comfort zone and not really have to worry about it too terribly bad. I mean, it's still twelve to four. But picking up that pistol round gives him a little bit more of a comfort zone. Uh, well, I guess there's there's really nothing comfortable about being down four to twelve, but gives him a little bit of hope perhaps. And if they can string this one together, build some economy behind it, they'll give themselves a shot. This is going to be a heavy mid play from Luminosity, but they ate a nade really really bad. A nice pop flash is going to give him some room to get out. But Shazam, he's going to spray one down from Sandbags, and he's got the support of Rix with that P90. Who's going to take out Lex, and he's just going to come out swinging, not even stopping. Mows down two of them, and now for the pistol, he grabs a fourth in the round. So nicely done from him. He's going to salvage the Famas and move forward with it. All right, so again, we're going to be seeing that no plant for the terrorist side, so it's going to be another save round for them, and we'll see whether or not they can put anything together because they were only able to pick up one kill in the last round onto Shazam playing from Sandbags. And again, using that P90, Rick's able to put a lot of money in the bank. He goes to immediately for the Colt. And see if he can put that to work this time. So look at this. Tempo Storm actually playing a little bit more heavy in the in the mid area. They've got the quick rotation Shazam. And that nade over the top again finds some serious damage onto the Luminosity players. Peter and Pitt both just completely destroyed by that nade. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but look at this. Here comes that A execute. And it's so passive for from Tempo Storm. I mean, this might be a plant for Luminosity if they can get in. Because no one in that A bomb site. Ricks and Darky just spraying and spraying or spraying and... Praying and praying through the smoke. Darky does find one, but this is going to give him a plant, an easy plant. And I can't say I agree with this this passive call on this eco round. Yeah, those smokes going to buy Luminosity so much time to get themselves into better positions for this post-plant hold. They've got one over by the squeaky door. That's going to get smoked off. Napli gets spotted out, so he's going to go down. They've got one more in A main, one by quad, and one squeaky door. Anger trying to make his way out. Like spamming away. He's going to fall. He's got one more to beat, and there it is. Anger goes down, so... A a good stand from Tempo Storm. That bomb plant kind of null and void. It might be able to allow Peter to pick up the AWP in the first gun round, but aside from that, you know, it's going to be a gun round anyway. Yeah, but I mean, with the investment of pistols and utility in both those rounds, that $800 actually goes a long way. It's just kind of interesting at how, like, why there's no reason to play that passive. There's no reason to give that plant up. I mean, it might just be the fear of those deagles that Luminosity has been really powerful with, but still. Still a long way to go for Tempo Storm, although they have won the first three. Shazam's going to get aggressive, peek into A main with that AWP. He's just going to post up on the corner. Decides to go ahead and smoke it off. Anger is boosted up over mid, so again, not a lot of mid presence being displayed here from the Tempo Storm side, so they're going to basically yield that area for free. Rick's playing passively from Z Hall. He's going to get smoked off. Ooh, some spam play being dealt out. And Lex is going to get a bird's eye view up here towards that A-bomb site. He's going to take Darky all the way down to 10 HP. So, again, utilizing that boost properly and no mid control for the CT side, not dealing any damage in return. Darky's going to be basically bleeding internally for the rest of this round. One shot from death. And the hit is going to be coming towards B as well. Yeah, and they actually do drop out vent. they got to be careful. Glorin's playing behind this box very, very patiently. Nap's going to spray one down in the bomb site. This might be Glorin's opportunity to pounce. He is. He's going to find Lux. Now Nap knows where he is. A nice shot from him. He had to have it. And now it's going to be an easy entrance into that A-bomb site. Immediately planning in the back corner. It is going to be a four on three. Make that a four on two. Peter finds Darky down and out. Oh, nice shot onto Shazam. Just completely it dominates the offer. And Rix goes down immediately afterwards. Pit cleaning up. And that is going to be a 13th round now for Luminosity. Strong gun round showing for them on their terrorist side. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it's just that mid control. Like, there's when you have that as a terrorist, uh, Temple Storm had no intel of where that was going. They weren't able to bring bring a third player over to the B bomb site. They weren't even able to stop them getting events. I mean, Lex and Anger got out mid, and they had to have the biggest smiles on their face. You know, when they see no resistance whatsoever, that had to be the happiest moment of this match for them. So and, and look at this. Now, uh, sorry, they're, they're, now they're switching things up. So they got out mid, and they they beat them up with mid control. Now they're going to switch it over towards A and there's only one player in the bomb so that's Darky. All he's got is a deagle. This is going to have to be a massive round from Shazam who's going to get smoked off a truck. Yeah, again, those smokes going to rain in towards that A bomb site. You can see him being thrown out right now as you can watch the uh, trajectory tracker there. And just all over in their face at that A bomb site. Now Pitt's going to get blinded. Lex as well. Shazam's in front of the smoke by forklift. He's going to lay a wall bang down and Pitt's going to eat a little bit of that. Trying to get himself out of dodge. Pitt pushes through the smoke. He goes down to the hands of Stannis Law. Darky finally down from the corner there by quad box. Still no bomb plant just yet. A one-for-one one trade so far. And now going to be peeking out is going to be Nafly. He's holding it behind the forklift. And Stannis Law is ready for that angle. Stan pushes up. Able to find one. Nafly going to go down. Stan doing a great job. And Shazam bails him out as well. So he's going to be able to hop on the bomb here in just a second. Well, he's going to peek out and finds a quad of his own this round. And Tempo Storm staying alive again. Seven rounds now to their name. Yeah, pretty poor post-plant positioning for Luminosity. Getting the bomb down, and with the cover of the smokes, I mean, covering off everything, they, they didn't get anyone into the bomb site. I mean, that plant was not for anyone in A-Main. You know, they could they needed to get somebody in quad to, to help, you know, stem the tide of the retake through just that main entrance into the site, and they couldn't do it. So, Temple Storm gets that retake, but still a lot of money, especially with that plant on the side of Luminosity. It's going to be another buy here. And, and Glorens is stuck on a... Oh, no, he, he was actually dropped, excuse me. So he's actually going to be fine. What, did you think he was stuck on a pistol? On a deagle? Oh, yeah, he, had, he just had a deagle out. I was, like, confused. I was like, why does he only have a deagle? That's insane. And again, Glorens actually getting up on top of the box. A little bit of spray through the smoke finds a lot of damage on Anger. That nade off the mark's not going to find anything in that area. But again, Glorens, look at this. He's perched up over top of this smoke. He might be able to catch off Pip. Falls back, re-smokes, good play from him. Biding well, his time. Is a, this is a great defense for any kind of B-hit from Tempo Storm. They have Ricks pushed up in middle. They have the mid-control now, so they have Ricks right there, ready for a quick rotation should it be needed. And he is actually up in vents right now, so he is going to be at a bird's-eye view for this push-in towards the B-main. And Glorin's playing in the back with the support from Stan's Law in the site as well. The Molotov comes around the corner. Rix is probably going to be calling for his backup. There's some smokes and another Molotov being dispatched. Flashbang around the corner. Here comes the push from the Luminosity side. And there it is. First blood going out. Glorin's finds one. Stan's Law with another one. Glorin's finds a second. Rix coming through the vent's going to be able to find another. And that's going to leave it all on Peter with the AWP and a five versus one. So that offense just completely shattered. Yeah, and that was just that was just you know almost a technical. I, if you watch StarCraft at all, they always have those build order wins where it's just like you just win based off the fact that your build order is the perfect counter. And it just happens blindly, and that's pretty much just what happened there. The the defense was set up perfectly for that strategy. You got to stop using those analogies, man. That's the Listen, second time you've broken that one out on me. StarCraft is an amazing, amazing game. Peter's just gonna fall there if you don't if you can't appreciate. Professional, competitive StarCraft, I don't know what you're doing. Apparently I'm not living my life right. We do have another pause <laughs> in the server right now, so maybe a player dropped or maybe talking about uh, confining with the council right now to maybe revamp their strategy on one of the two sides. But Tempo Storm doing a pretty solid job here on their CT side so far. 5-1 to one is the score line in the second half. 13-8 to eight is the overall score line in favor of Luminosity. But now within five rounds, Tempo Storm, and they forced an eco for LG. Yeah, and, and, and that's the that's one way to get back into this game, and uh, is to force these eco rounds to break the economy the way they did after just after just one win, um, and that's that's going to give them some breathing room because now they should have an easy avenue up to to at least nine. But I mean, losing luminosity seems to be struggling a little bit on the T side. Uh, they they need to get back towards that mid control. I mean, they they abused it perfectly. It does look like Rix and Shazam are now playing it a bit more aggressively as a duo to, to shut some things down. But um, I would expect them on the next gun round to go back to it. They haven't found success since they had that mid control. Uh, so I'd expect them to test test that mid defense from Tempo Storm this next gun round. All right, back live in the server. So we are going to see an eco round coming out from Luminosity. Can they put it together here and maybe steal one away from Tempo Storm? We saw success in the last half from an eco round of Tempo's, uh, of um, Luminosity on their CT side. 
We'll see whether or not they can repeat that again. It is going to be a, an A hit. They are lining up the smokes in towards the A bomb site, and this is exactly where they need to go in this situation. Darkie playing very a very passive position. I mean, this must this must be their like when they know there's an eco, they just must say, "Listen, let's not give up any entry kills. Let's not give away any rifles. So let's just play far back. We'll let them into the site. We'll let them get the plant." And just not die, which is kind of interesting. It's a very interesting strategy. Shazam does take one down. That looked like through the smoke. Almost finds a second one from there. Ricks goes down in mid. Nice shot from Shazam. He's going to trade that one out. So it is a man advantage now for Tempo Storm. They do have support from the players coming around from the truck side. Glorens is going to join Darkie up there. Shazam still holding on the highway. And now that's going to leave another one coming out as well. Shazam switching over to the pistol. He's going to lay some shots out. It's going to drop Pit down very, very low. Pit's going to be shoulder peeking out. He's going to get taken down. Anger goes for the trade. Not going to be able to make it happen. The last man standing is going to be Peter from the A main, who's actually flanked all the way around mid. Can't line up the shots, though. <laughs> He's on the struggle bus. He goes down. Darky that trades was, him out. That was absolutely amazing. He looked like he was just so excited. He started Oh, my God, three of them. Bit. None of them are looking at me, but I can't hit any shots. And they just dance out of his way just at the, at the most opportune times without even knowing it. So, but he does end up getting one. 13 to 9 now for Luminosity, but this is uh, this is looking like a good comeback for Tempo Storm and, and uh, Luminosity. I mean, I think that pause has got to be something that we just saw from Luminosity, just saying, "All right, guys, let's let's uh, get back to business. Let's get refocused and, and let's find a way to get not not let these CT rounds pile up too too heavily." Lex going to take a little nade damage over the top. Not a lot to be worried about, but look at this aggression from the Tempo Storm side. They switched it up. Pitt's going to come under fire here, and he gets nothing. Stan is law, and Gloran's going to go for that early frag. That's going to push out these terrorists that are over here in mid. The bomb is dropped outside of mid main. So it looks like they're going to throw the smokes over, maybe go for a boost play and some mid control. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Nafly up over the top. Anger's going to be there as well, but Nafly does take over the mid control. He's going to go for the peak. He's going to be able to spot out Shazam. Does a significant amount of damage to him as well. Drops a nade around the corner also, and that's going to... Going to be a little bit off the mark. The hit is actually coming towards the B-bomb site, and, and a pretty good position is going to be Stan as Law. Those smokes aren't out there just yet. They are going to be able to dodge a couple of flashes to come around the corner, so they are going to be able to get that bomb planted. It's a five-on-four. A uh, perfect, perfect path into the bomb site without a smoke. They just flash in at the nice mo at a really nice moment, and they get in. It's going to be a hard retake for Tempo Storm. Actually, some pretty good positioning from uh, from Luminosity on this retake. Naf in the vents is going to have a big job to do. Yeah, and we'll see whether or not Ricks can make it happen. He is up outside of the vents right now. He's going to go ahead and push on in. He's got one to beat. Still biting his time. Map goes out. Peter finds one. Lex finds one. Anger underneath. Ricks doesn't see him in time. Just going to leave it on a one versus one. Shazam versus Anger. Those flashbangs are on the mark. Not enough. Anger is going to be able to clean that up in a 14th round for Luminosity. It comes down to a 1v1. Yeah, and actually that might have been that might have been a good retake. Tempo Storm, unfortunately, on the retake, they missed the Molotov into the bomb site. Bounced off, uh, they just missed through it, and it bounced right back towards CT spawn. Completely ineffective. That could have taken Lex out before he was able to grab one. But a really good round for Luminosity in a four on five. You know, they they rotate the defense over towards the A bomb site, and then they hit or towards the A bomb site, and then they go back towards B. And even getting into the site without taking any damage, without a smoke to cover off CT spawn, and now it's just going to be a very fast A play for him. And again, they're going in completely dry. No nades out. They're already up by forklift. They're going to catch one out. That's going to be Ricks down and out. Darky goes down. They're looking to shut this one down ASAP. Nice shot from Naf onto Shazam. Takes him out. And the last two are going to be Glorens and Stan is Law. And they're trying to prevent Luminosity from going up to match point. This is our first of two in this double header. Nafly does go down. Stan is Law. Nice shot. And it looks like they are going to go ahead and save. Uh, another another attack out of the A pop site where they just didn't even use smoke, and that's got to be a situation where where Tempo Storm is just so confused. Darky, he's been the only one at that A site early on. He's been very very isolated, very alone, and it seemed like he, he just doesn't want to get picked off so much that he wasn't peeking for any kind of intel. That's how, that's how they were able to get all the way out towards forklift. And when that rotation comes in, I mean, no one's expecting them to be there already. So they clean house, they grab this A site. And now they're hunting down Glorens and T spawn. Pit's gonna grab him. They're even going to take out Santa's Law, so no gun saved, and now it's match point. It's going to be a very tough buy for Tempo Storm, and they've really got to pull out some magic now. And again, six potential match points for Tempo Storm to try to get back in this one and force OT. I don't think it's going to happen. I think that this limited buy, this will probably be it right here, and then we'll be able to move on to train for our next matchup. Again, it's going to be between Tempo Storm and Luminosity. Following that is going to be CLG versus Liquid in a doubleheader as well. So that's going to be a very exciting night of Counter-Strike. Yeah, really, really cool stuff coming up, but... 
Can Tempo Storm delay this just a little bit longer, give himself one more chance to get back into the match? It's going to be a Molotov execution over at the B site, but Glorin shuts things down initially. Naf evens it up. But here comes the hit, and it's just going to be two players. It's going to be Glorin's. It's going to be Shazam. Actually, they're not committing to this, so they've thrown the Molotovs into the site, but they're not committing. They're blocked out by a smoke and don't want to run through it knowing it's an eco round. Yeah, and they actually left the bomb outside of B. They are going to have to sweep that one up and take it back towards mid. You can see Peter is going to be able to take down Ricks over there. He was getting a little aggressive from the squeaky door side, or actually A main, pardon me. And now this is all going to be on Darkie in the A bomb site. He does have support from Shazam rotating his way on around, but this is really going to be a difficult situation for Darkie, and he goes down instantly. Nice shot from Peter. Nafly takes down Glorens, and that bomb is going towards B. Now Shazam with it all to do. Not able to line him up. And it is going to be a 16-9 victory for Luminosity, so we're just going to wait for the next matchup to start here very, very